Hello Aries, welcome to a love reading. We're going to be looking at the current energies for you in love and a little bit more insight into the person that you might be dealing with or have been dealing with. As always, keep in mind that these readings are general, so they will not resonate with every Aries watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. Thank you so much for checking out my video. I am so glad you found my channel. Welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're a subscriber. And let's jump right in to your reading for Aries. Spirit so angels, guidance, what guidance, messages, insight do you have for Aries? What do we need to know regarding love relationships? For Aries, what do we need to know? Okay. Current energies for you in love, five of wands. Six of Cups, Eight of Cups. Overall energy, bottom of the deck, is the Page of Swords. Mm. Um, well, when I look at these energies, just off the bat, the Five of Wands is a card about conflict, um, not, very, not getting along, not being able to work together. Six of Cups is typically a card about the past, memories, nostalgia, and the Eight of Cups is about walking away from what no longer serves you. So I'm getting the sense that this could be interpreted as someone who's been in a situation for a while with someone from the past or has a past history with someone, but things aren't working out and they're thinking it's time for me to go. The Page of Swords as the overall energy, hmm, maybe there's a conversation that needs to take place. Uh, maybe there is a bit of like checking in with another person, observing another person, getting some sort of insight or information. Um, so we'll see what else we get when we clarify. All right, let's get some energies out here. So can get some energies regarding what's going on here for Aries, regarding love for Aries. What do we need to know? Let's see energy for Aries regarding love. What do we need to know? Strong bonds, family, union, partnership. Strong bonds and ties can influence someone's decisions or actions. Can I get one more? What else for Aries? What's going on for Aries here? And Aries, by the way, this energy could be your energy, your person's energy, or a mix of both, because it's just the current energies in general for you and love. What else do we need to know about the energies surrounding love for Aries? Sweet dreams, fantasy dreams, imagination. Your dreams are becoming reality. I feel like someone's thinking about the future dreaming of something else, but strong bonds are holding them back. Let's get some insight here. Let's get some clarifiers. Spirit, tell me more. For years. I need to know. What do we need to know? Tell me about the Page of Swords. Let's start here with the overall energy. Why is the Page of Swords here for Aries? Nine of Swords. What else? Eight of Pentacles. Hmm, Nine of Swords is a card about like worry, anxiety, stress, Eight of Pentacles is working hard. Okay, I'm getting overcompensating. Can I get one more for Page of Swords? The High Priestess. The Chariot. Cancer Energy. Another card about movement forward or making a move of some sort. It's reminding me of this Eight of Cups. Why did I get overcompensating? It's weird. It's almost like someone's working really hard because they want to get to a certain um, place. And I don't know if it's like with a person, like getting to a place, uh, a stage or a phase of a connection, or if this is like outside of the connection. I can't tell so far. 
Uh, the High Priestess is a card about like secrets, what's hidden, psychic abilities, intuition. Uh, someone's freaking out, but I, I think it's because they sense that something's up. And so they're looking into things. Maybe they're doing extra work or putting an effort, more effort into something. Um, the Three of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck, which is a card about like working together, work. Um, I'm also getting the message here that someone's concerned about career, um, something to do with their career, moving forward in their career, making a move for a career, etc., etc. For some reason, this is coming up and affecting a partnership. This is very strange energy. I'm not going to lie. I'm picking up weird energy, but I can't put it into words. So, okay, let's keep going. Maybe this five of wands will give us a little bit of insight. Tell me about the five of wands for Aries. Why is the five of wands here? The Empress. Why is the five of wands here? Who would fight with an Empress? Tell me about the five of wands. Someone could be also recognizing their worth. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. There's the Queen of Pentacles. Typically, the King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, for me as a reader, they tend to be a married couple, committed couple. The Empresses here could also be um, a parental figure or a feminine maternal figure. There's issues here. Someone's getting in the way, it seems like. Or someone's recognizing their worth. You know, and it's like all of this conflict is making them recognize their their value tell me more about this five of wands i feel like this is discord between multiple people tell me about the five of wands can you tell me about this five of wands page of cups someone could be apologizing can you get one more for the five of wands yeah someone could be apologizing Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. With the Page of Cups here, Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is almost, um, it's really a card about holding on to something that you value. Being very frugal. Um, you don't really want to let go of what you have. Whether that's money or something that you treasure. Sometimes it could be seen as a card of like holding back. Because you, you can't be open to something if your hands are grasping something else. Can I get one more for this Five of Wands? Why is this Five of Wands here? Two of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like someone um, might be apologizing here and the other person is kind of considering if this is a thing. So someone could be apologizing to you, Aries, or you could be apologizing, apologizing to someone else. This Six of Cups could be um, a reference to children just because I have strong bonds here. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Could also be a soulmate energy. Someone from the past, an ex. Tell me about the Six of Cups. What's this about? The Devil, Capricorn energy. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Six of Cups again. Okay, tell me about the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? my gosh, I'm having a hard time shuffling. Why is the Six of Cups here? But I don't want to pick a card. Okay. Ace of Wands. Okay, Queen of Swords. Um, so when I see the devil, I think of attachments. Unhealthy attachments, unhealthy dynamics. But it's like a chain. Strong bonds are influencing someone. And it's a tie to the past. Six of Cups showed up again. The Ace of Wands, um, I'm getting like... Um, um, it's obviously a card about a new beginning, a passionate new endeavor, you know, creating something new. Um, but what I'm getting here is almost like, um, with the queen of swords, it's like someone wants to cut these chains in order to have an ace of wands. Like they're together. Someone's considering leaving an attachment. I just don't know if this is you, Aries, or your person. Because I feel like it could be either or. Tell me about this Eight of Cups. Tell 
Why is the Eight of Cups here? Four of Swords. Three of Swords. Nine of Wands. Yeah. I feel like someone's tired. They're tired. They're tired of being disappointed. I feel like this departure will be very difficult for someone, but it's like they can't keep going with what they're doing. Oh my god, the Seven of Swords keeps coming up for people. Justice at the bottom of the deck, Libra energy. So what I see here is someone that, with the Nine of Wands, they're exhausted, defensive, worn out. Seven of Swords tells me that this would hurt someone else. Um, this would affect someone else. But they're thinking about a new path with the Page of Wands. Something that's more balanced and fair. Justice. Let me know in the comments if that's you, Aries, or if the person you're dealing with might be the one that's considering leaving. I'm just curious. So I'm actually going to pick these up and we're going to look at your person. The person that you have been dealing with, are dealing with, or could be dealing with in the future. If this is resonating for you, Aries, or you're enjoying the reading, uh, please consider uh, subscribing if you haven't already, or just hit the like button if you enjoy the video and want to support me for free. YouTube really cares about that stuff. <laughs> so, you know, they kind of look at the likes and the subscribes and determine, hey, that's a channel people want to visit. So I would appreciate anybody that takes the time out of their day to do that. Tell me about this person. What do we need to know about this other person? The person that Aries is has. What will we do? What do we need to know about them? Three of Pentacles, the Fool, Ten of Wands. Again, this this um, energy of like the new with the Fool, new beginnings, new endeavors, new journeys. But the Ten of Wands is like that Nine of Wands energy that we saw earlier. There's some sort of burden. Or responsibility that someone has so they could be wanting to have freedom and a new beginning a new journey be free and light with the fool but they can't something's weighing them down with the ten of wands the three of Pentacles tells me there could be more than one person involved here um, it could be you know related to a job or someone could be wanting to work things out this person could be wanting to work things out with you um, I think they're the ones that if you know again it's their energy, so they might be the ones that need to be free of something. Or when they think about you and this connection, they think about you being free of this. Bottom of the deck, I have the Judgment card, which is a card about kind of looking back at the past. Um, it's a card about revival, resurrection, having like an aha moment once you learn from your past lessons. Let's get some insight on this person. The secret moon. Can you give me a little bit more insight on this person? By the way, if you're interested in any of my decks, like the seller energy or the secret moon that I'm about to use, um, all that information is on my website, which is linked in the description box. If you're curious and want to check them out. Tell me about this person that Aries is, has, or will be dealing with. What about the person, person's energy that Aries is, has, or will be dealing with? I feel guilty, and I hate the distance between us. Mm, so you might not be with this person. Bottom of the deck, I'm torn. You might not be with this person, Aries, or it could be like a physical distance between you or a emotional distance. Um, they're feeling guilty over something, maybe something that happened in the past. Let's get some clarity here. Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person. Tell me about this Three of Pentacles. And it could be also that this person might be wanting to talk to you with the Page of Swords, work things out, Eight of Pentacles, come forward in some way, but they're worried. I mean, you could interpret it as that as well, but I don't see 
them communicating here in their energy. So tell me about the three of pentacles. See what shows up. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Tell me about the three of pentacles. The devil, Capricorn energy. Can I get one more? Can I get one more for the three of pentacles? The king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Once again, there's an attachment here that exists. I think it's a family attachment, something to do with family or some sort of past bond that is not easy to break away from. I think this person is probably trying to figure out how they can have this nine of cups, which is really a card about like emotional fulfillment. Yeah, but the past is a problem, five of cups. Maybe they feel guilty going after what truly makes them happy, or maybe the past is something they want to resolve and resolving the past issue would make them very happy. I see both ways. Can I get one more for this devil? Tell me more about this devil energy. Justice. Yeah, this is something that I feel someone wants to address. This devil energy is like a problem. Yeah, there's the Hermit Virgo energy. They're trying to figure out how to get out of this mess, I feel. Because the Fool is here. The Fool travels light. The Fool is all about taking a risk, a chance, trying something new. Tell me about the Fool. The Fool in this spread, I see it as freedom from this Ten of Wands. Tell me about the Fool. Knight of Swords. Tell me about the fool. Ooh, somebody could be risking uh, communicating here with the Knight of Swords, sending that message. And I'm almost getting like sending the message before they chicken out. Six of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Oh yeah, this is an emotional like impulse. The Lovers is at the bottom of the deck. Gemini energy. I feel like someone has their eye on another person or specific person. Um, your person, I guess I should say, because I'm looking at their energy right here. <clears throat> they have something in mind. And I think they're going to send a message and kind of, I'm picturing someone that just is like hit send and isn't even looking at the screen. <laughs> it's almost like I don't want to think about it too much because if I think about it too much, I'm going to chicken out like this nine of swords here. Tell me about the ten of wands and look at the six of pentacles. It's almost like it's an intent to balance something out. Six of Pentacles is give and take. <clears throat> I'm not going to take these, but I'm going to look at them. Seven of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, again, Aries, I mean, not Aries, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Queen of Swords is very unemotional. They have very healthy boundaries. Seven of Wands, Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is the one queen that stands up for herself. Um, and here's the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like this is that strong bonds energy. There's some sort of long-term investment commitment that someone has made, possibly children, possibly something to do with a family dynamic. And it's almost like they have to fight against this or stand up for themselves. And in, in, when it comes to this, Let's look at this Ten of Swords. I mean, what am I saying? Ten of Wands. Tell me about this Ten of Wands. What do we need to know about this Ten of Wands? What do we need to know? There's that Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords, I feel, she's the one that cut through all of the, all of the BS. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Six of Wands. Hmm. Tell me about the Ten of Wands, the Lovers, Knight of Pentacles, interesting. Let me get one more. Can I get one more for the Ten of Wands? Let me get one more. Yeah, Six of Swords. 
Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Um, okay, so what I'm seeing here with the Six of Wands, the minute I put down that card, I thought public. Like other people are observing this happen. Um, I feel like it's also a public effort. So how do I say this? I feel like someone has been carrying this heavy load because they care about what others think. And it's important to be seen as doing the right thing or it's, I have a lot of eyes on me, so I have to do things right and I have to just carry this burden until it kills me. I feel like someone's realizing that this isn't working out. I think this is someone being very honest with themselves, Queen of Swords, very honest with themselves and honest with others. I think they're gonna say, I'm cutting this out. I'm not doing this anymore. Um, I'm not sure why the lovers is here. I feel like the lovers is kind of like in someone's like in the back of someone's mind when they do when they uh when they're honest with themselves and they're dealing with this situation this ten of wands this this lover's energy a partner that they're thinking about maybe a soulmate they're thinking about it's in the back of their mind i feel like this might be you you're not at the forefront of what's happening you're like a distant goal or prize at the end of all of it First, it has to be the Six of Swords and the Fool. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.